Associated British Picture Corporation, originally British International Pictures, was a British film production, distribution and exhibition company active from 1927 until 1970 when it was absorbed into EMI. ABPC also owned approximately 500 cinemas in Britain by 1943. The studio was partly owned by Warner Brothers from about 1940 until 1969, with the American company also having a stake in ABPC's distribution arm, Warner Path A from 1958. It formed one half of a vertically integrated film industry duopoly in Britain with the rank organization, film production, distribution and exhibition. From 1927 to 1945 the company was founded during 1927 by Scottish solicitor John Maxwell after he had purchased British National Studios and their Elstree Studios complex and merged it with his ABC Cinemas circuit. Renaming the company British International Pictures, he appointed Joseph Grossman, formerly manager of the Stoll Studios, as his studio manager. During their early years the company's most prominent work was that directed by Alfred Hitchcock, including the film Blackmail, which is usually regarded as being the first British all-talkie. Hitchcock left the company in 1933 to work for the rival British Gourmet. The company was renamed Associated British Picture Corporation in 1933 and was now in a position to vertically integrate production, distribution and exhibition of films. Under Maxwell's paternalistic management the company prospered and during 1937 it acquired British Pathé, which as Associate British Pathé now functioned as the distribution division. After Maxwell's death in October 1940, his widow Catherine sold a large number of shares to Warner Brothers, who, although the Maxwell family remained the largest shareholders, were able to exercise a measure of control. The studio at Elstree was taken over by the government for the duration of the war, and film production was restricted to be pictures made at the company's smaller studio in Welland Garden City. This studio complex closed in 1950. After the Second World War much of the output of the studio was routine, which restricted its success outside the UK, but after World War II, the company contracted with Warner for the distribution of its films in the United States. Robert Clark was head of production for the company between 1949 and 1958 and insisted on tight budgeting and the use of pre-existing properties such as books or plays as these already had a demonstrated public value. Of the 21 films made by ABPC during the 1950s only two were derived from original screenplays. German-born Frederick Gottfried was Clark's scenario editor in this period but his command of English was imperfect and the contracted actor Richard Todd doubted Gottfried's ability to access the quality of the dialogue in a script. It was a dreadful place, said Richard Attenborough when remembering ABPC's Elstree facility. It created nothing in terms of a feeling of commitment. During this period, though, the company produced its best-remembered titles such as The Dam Busters and Ice Cold in Alex, whose director J. Lee Thompson was ABPC's most productive during the 1950s. From 1958 onwards policies changed after Clark left in January 1958. New projects from the company were limited to those using contracted television comedy performers and investment in independent productions. The use of Elstree for television production increased. Later successful features from ABPC itself included several films built around the pop singer Cliff Richard, such as The Young Ones and Summer Holiday. In 1962, the company acquired 50% of the shares of Anglo Amalgamated, and made an arrangement with the Grade Organization to support the production of films by independent producers. 
During the 1960s, however, the fortunes of the company declined, and in 1967 Seven Ats, the new owners of Warner, decided to dispose of its holdings in ABPC which was purchased in 1968 by Emmy, who acquired the remaining stock the following year. The entire ABPC library is now owned by Studio Canal, subsidiaries of Associated British Picture Corporation. Wholly owned Associated British Productions Limited, Associated British Cinemas Limited, Associated British Pathé Limited, Associated British Film Distributors Limited, usually only known by its initials, ABFD, British and Overseas Film Sales Limited, Pathé Laboratories Limited, Associated British Cinemas Limited, Associated British Corporation Limited jointly owned Warner Path A Distributors Limited, from 1958, Anglo-Amalgamated Film Distributors, from 1962.